Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I, so my daughter's 10 years old and um, it's very gorgeous child. And I'm not saying that because I'm her mama. I am saying that because I'm her mama, but very gorgeous child. My princess is beautiful. Um, she made a good point and I'm, I'm, and my 10 year old made a good point to me. Um, she does not really talk to me about the boys. She talks to her daddy about the boys and her rationale behind that is, well, daddy used to be a boy. So he knows why boys say and do things that they do. And so one of the lessons that I've learned as being a wife and as a mom and a parent in general is that about myself and what I learned about myself in one of the lessons is, is that I grew up around a lot of strong women and a lot of silent, strong uncles. They didn't verbalize what we're supposed to do. They kind of did it through their action, their work ethic, things of that nature. But the conversations didn't, ha didn't happen. Okay. So I had to teach myself and like, kind of dummy slap myself as you say is hey you ain't doing this by yourself you got a helpmate you have your husband so I I have removed myself as, right now about the conversations with boys I let her dad deal with it and they talk and they dialogue I still teach her how to be a young lady I'm really big on her increasing self-esteem as much as she can at the age that she's at because at she's in double digits now and pretty soon she's gonna be in middle school Middle school is brutal. Okay, Ashley, you're an educator. So, you know, some of these kids, they can be brutal. Some of these situations, they can beat up on you. I want her to have a belief in self. I want her efficacy and her esteem to be prepared so that when she does start dating, she knows exactly what she wants. She knows who she wants. She knows what she's going for. She knows what she's not going to go for because and I hate to say this about a lot of us in our generation, but I know for me, I didn't get those conversations. And so, you know, I think that also shapes my attitude and my belief, like Cannon was saying, around a woman who would propose to a man. Because I don't think I had anybody to really have that conversation with me that, hey, there's nothing wrong with you doing this. I was, you know, brought up in a Christian home. I am a Christian. I believe in kind of the traditional sense of marriage, you know, but I'm not, I'm kind of like what Cannon was saying. I'm not going to judge you if you decide to do that. I just want you to make a clear informed decision on whether or not you should propose to this man. So, you know, I think Darwin got a point about us teaching our daughters and being open-minded to the fact that you can't just teach them in one lane. So I had to kind of remove myself and say, you know what? Her daddy used to be a boy. Maybe, maybe it is easier to talk to the boys about the former boy, you know, and I mean, they make a whole big thing out of it. They they go to, you know, there's a cupcake shop around the corner from my house. They go on dates and he, and 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 they have a whole conversation about boys. And then later on, I might ask some questions and then my husband like, but that's between me and her, though. She's going to come tell you when, when she's ready, you know. So I think that both parents. This is where mama, I, for me with the daughters, I think that this is where mama might, it might benefit you to just step to the side and let daddy, who used to be the boy, talk about the boys with the daughters. And then with the sons, you know, and Cannon, I know you have a son, you know, you're able to get him perspective on, okay, let me tell you why what you said to her is crazy. Or let me tell you how this is, this is, because you, you, you were you you were dating once. You were a girl. You were a woman. So I think a lot of times we have it backwards where, you know, women think we got to hold on to these daughters and teach them all of these traditional things, which is nothing wrong with that. But I think we need to think outside the box, bring, you know, dad into the picture.